guys so as you can all see there's a luggage right here I won't say if I just finished packing I just did like some you know half packing I'll say I'm almost done I'm really excited for our trip to Chicago we're gonna bring you guys along the journey so stay tuned and watch everything that happened so this was us on the train going to Chicago this is our first time riding together we have like it's currently what's the time 8 15. what 8 15. yeah it's currently 8 15 so i guess we'll be there by one <sighs> Oh, really? The taxi thing when I came to buy my car. Oh, the boat thing? Yeah. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, that little guy right down there? Uh huh. Awesome. Pretty cool. Voila! Uh huh. <laughs> What's. What's over here? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah. It's like some strawberries dipped in chocolate. Uh huh. I think that I see like coconut as well. Could be, could be. Alright, mm. and we have some wine. Oh. So. Oh, cool. What do you think of the room and the view? I love this. Pretty good? Yeah, all perspective is. It's really nice. It is, very pretty. Yeah. Actually, I thought we had, we had a balcony, but obviously we don't. No, no, not, not quite a balcony. Ooh. But there's our, uh, that's what we're looking at here. A lot of buildings. It's a pretty river. view. Chicago like four hours ago or three hours ago yeah yeah but we met up with some friends made from Instagram they picked us up from the airport thank you um, it's Stella very and Aaron. yeah we had lunch together and we just checked into our hotel I mean I was like as you saw like from the earlier clips I was just all into the view I didn't even notice this until it's like what is there and when I looked, I actually thought it was like that something that came in the room. I didn't know he actually requested for it. Um, he made me aware as um, that's the only thing they could do, right? Yeah. And it just means a lot because I remember telling him that I like surprises, you know. Um, it would be nice to like come into the hotel room and you know, have like balloons or whatever just to surprise me. I didn't know he actually did it, but he made me aware he did it the next day after I told him that. I mean, he tried to do it, but he said, and say the story, tell him the story. Yeah, she told me that, like, you know, maybe there's be surprises, and then, like, she'd do, do things for me. I, I enjoy that stuff, so I was like, well, yeah, okay, it'd be, it'd be fun still. I've kind of been, I'd be slacking off in some departments on that one, but called the hotel and was like, hey, her anniversary's coming up, we got an appointment book with you guys. Um, is there any way you can do like, I don't know, some kind of flowers or some chocolates or something? They were like, well, we don't usually have like options or packages for that, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll mark it, it's your anniversary, and um, we should be able to have something. So I had no idea really what was going on when we came in the room. So I was like, I don't know. And I saw that on the table, I'm like, hey, they did something, isn't that nice? Yeah, and I was here thinking it came with the room, so she saw like my reaction. I'm like, oh, we have some wine. And some chocolate, uh, strawberry dipped in chocolate without knowing that he actually, you know, 
ask for them after I told him. And that is what, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just so nice, you know. He didn't just listen or he didn't just hear me say it without like taking any action on it. So. <laughs> uh, I just it just hit the thing just even slightly. I broke the glass. Wow, that's exciting. It feels really good to like have a man who listens to you and who takes care of you. And I just feel like I don't deserve it. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't mean we have it all rosy all the time. <laughs> we have our moments with Carl, but he just lasts me so much, and I really do appreciate it. I'm Glad, I'm blessed, I'm lucky to have it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. To a good first year marriage, to several more, and hopefully for all those keep breaking things in the park. <laughs> Love you, babe. Love you too. The Empire State Building in New York. And now we're here, 103 stories up. Welcome to the top. All right, hey guys, so it's uh, day one uh, finale where you've crashed at Haymarket uh, Pub and Brewery to get some uh, late snacks and a few drinks. Yeah. Uh, so hotel turned out well. Uh, going to the sky deck was really cool, seeing all the sights. Yes. And there's actually like a little museum there, uh, which we totally didn't expect. Yeah. But we were glad because it's like $80 for the both of us to go get a picture in a box. Uh, so it's good there was a museum. <laughs> Um, took a taxi over here, worked out pretty well, nothing sketchy, and yeah, the city's very nice. Uh, we definitely enjoyed our lunch with Stella and Aaron today. Uh, if they watch it, shout out to you guys for picking us up from the airport. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a beautiful night in Chicago. Yeah, we have like a lot more pictures on our Instagram page, so if you're not following us on there, just look at the name on your screen right now, or just search for JNP underscore swell just follow us on Instagram because we have a lot of pictures on there and you get to see like daily activities of ours yeah. all right thanks for watching stay tuned for part two next week and uh, enjoy all the Chicago content yeah Woo.